So what are things you can do in general to look after your eyesight? Well, the great irony of life is that the very light that we need to see and enjoy the world is actually toxic, it's damaging to the eye. And of course, uh, the most intense light any of us are exposed to is, uh, is sunlight. And so it's crucial that we are putting sunglasses on whenever we're outside and, and the sun is out. Even in the summertime, if it's cloudy, the sunglasses should be on. This is protecting a few areas of our eyes. So our ocular surface can be damaged. And when I, work, when I worked in Australia, I saw a lot of patients with sun damage related conditions on the surface of their eyes. There's a condition called pterygium, where the skin of the white of the eye grows onto the cornea. And this can affect vision and make the eyes uncomfortable and has to be surgically removed. And it occurs as a direct result of sunlight damaging the surface of the eye, partly from direct sunlight, but partly because the cornea funnels light from the side. So actually the sunglasses need to be wrapped around. It isn't enough to have, if they're trendy, little, little front-facing sunglasses. They won't provide all the protection that we need. In this country, we don't see that kind of sun damage so much, but we all know people who have areas of uh, yellowing and thickening on the whites of their eyes can be a little bit unsightly and again that's a result of sun damage it's that area that, that becomes damaged we know that ultraviolet light and sun damage can contribute to cataract formation yes it's treatable but it's better if we can kick that into long grass or push that into the future probably most importantly we know that sunlight is damaging to the retina so this is the most important structure, and I'm saying that as a corneal and lens and cataract surgeon. So I and my colleagues are excellent with modern tools at correcting problems with the cornea, problems with the lens, but if the retina is damaged, it doesn't matter what we put in the front, the patient will not see well. And we know that sun damage contributes to age-related macular degeneration, which is sadly the leading cause of acquired blindness in the UK. So. Wearing sunglasses is important for all of those reasons. It shouldn't come as a shock that smoking is incredibly bad for your eyes. We know that smoking damages every organ system. And the eyes are no exception. And not only does smoking cause accelerated cataract formation, but again, it's a major risk factor for developing age-related macular degeneration. And I, I have met people where that has been enough motivation. Yes, they knew about the heart disease, they knew about the lung cancer. And they use that argument. You know, we've all heard it before from friends or relatives and they'll say, oh, well, I've got to die of something. But actually, if you articulate to somebody that they'll go blind first, that can have enough of an impact to, set, to make them say, actually, I am going to change my behavior. I think it is time. I'm going to put those fags away and yeah, okay, no more smoking. So protection from the sun, no smoking, uh, diet. Um, so I'm afraid it, it's, we've had this all before. It's, um, we know the things we shouldn't eat. We know the things we should eat. And it's a diet that's rich in antioxidants. So this is in the fruit and vegetables. These contain the molecules that mop up the, the, um, the, the oxidative uh, products and enzymes that can damage the back of the eye. So again, this is protective against macular degeneration. Now, there are vitamin supplements that can be taken. My, my mother was recently diagnosed with macular degeneration, so I have just moved into a, an at-risk category. And as a result, I've started taking um, one of the uh, available supplements that contains the, act, uh, the antioxidants for which there's evidence for protecting the back of the eye. It's a bit of an off-label use. The evidence is for protecting people who've developed macular degeneration in one eye. But it's a logical argument. I think the risk is small of taking the supplements and it may help protect the back of my eyes. But at the very least, it's important to make sure that we're all trying to eat a diet that contains lots of fruit, vegetables, green leafy vegetables, lots of colorful fruits, get those blueberries in. So um, sunglasses, avoiding smoking, a good diet. Those are the most important things to help look after the most important parts of your eyes. We do have some evidence now that omega-3 as a dietary supplement can help improve the quality of the tear film. And there is evidence that omega-3 is beneficial in reducing uh, the risk of heart disease. So 
think of the dry eye benefit as, a, as an additional reason for looking after that. We do have patients who commonly suffer with dry eye and lid margin inflammation and getting a bit of heat on your eyes on a regular basis can really help with that. Uh, again, it's not in general a safety issue at all, but it can make your eyes more comfortable and actually slightly improve the quality of your vision. Finally, once you're a little bit older, attending for that regular eye health check is important just for making sure the intraocular pressures are normal and the overall, overall eye health is good. So do please give us a call on the number on the website or email us to ask for a call back and one of my team will be delighted to, to call you and we can then walk you through the next steps and if possible we'd love to put you in for a free consultation at Custom Vision Clinic so that we can assess your lifestyle and visual needs and show you how we can help.